In this section, I'm just going to talk about um, Bernoulli's equation in practice and how you can simplify the equation for some common engineering applications. So if you remember, we um, derived Bernoulli's equation and we showed that it was made up of these three pressure terms. So we have our static pressure term, um, our dynamic pressure term and our hydrostatic pressure term. And all of the sum of those two is the total pressure. Now, for, let's say for most um, engineering applications, we can often simplify this um, by um, often removing some of these terms. So depending on the nature of the problem, we can simplify in terms of um, static pressure, which may cancel, uh, the dynamic pressure, so if we end up with C being zero, we can um, uh, cancel one of the terms, or the hydrostatic pressure, we might be able to um, cancel as well. So we're going to go through in each of these in turn, and I've got an example for each. And actually some of the examples, you can make multiple cancellations, but I've only made kind of one relevant to the example, but hopefully that will become clear as we go through them. Okay, so if we just consider how we might simplify in terms of um, static pressure. So in this example, we've got a, a reservoir which is open to the atmosphere, and um, this gate has been opened and water will obviously start flowing out of here and we might want to calculate the velocity that it's leaving here so um, we can apply Bernoulli's to this to, to work it out um, but because it's open-ended we know that the the pressure at our um, datum 1 okay is equal to atmospheric but because we've um, been told in the problem that this is also open to the atmosphere then the pressure at 2 is also atmospheric so, if we take our um, uh, Bernoulli's equation um, between 1 and 2, then um, if we know that um, P1 and P2 are equal and equal to atmospheric, then if we put them in, they will cancel and they will leave us with this equation. So, we can work out the... So, what it would be saying is that the, the velocity of the fluid here it would be proportional to the difference in height um, between... Um, uh, 1 and 2 as well. So just remember here, although this is written, um, you know, they've got a hydrostatic term on this uh, side and hydrostatic term on this side, you don't need to know what Z1 and Z2 is. You could, because um, when you rearrange this, if you were interested in the velocity at 2, for example, then if you um, rearrange this, you'd have um, the difference in Z. So you don't need to actually know what they are, you just need to know the difference between them. In this example, um, we've got a pressurised gas bottle, okay, which is open to the atmosphere, and we're going to see how we could um, potentially how we could cancel for uh, the dynamic pressure terms. So, it is a gas in this example, and um, assuming that it's flown at low speeds, then we can use Bernoulli's for this. Um, okay, so let's say the gas is flown out of this bottle now because there is pressurised gas in here. This is like a reservoir, and the velocity of the fluid in this reservoir, if we you know, assume that this is quite a large cylinder, then um, the velocity of the gas in this pipe will be much, much less than the velocity of the gas that's exiting the pipe into the atmosphere. Okay, And if we, because of that, we can say that, you know, if it's much, much less, we can say it's negligible. So we're basically going to assume um, or it would be reasonable to assume that the velocity of the gas in the tank um, is zero and that, um, you know, we don't know what the velocity of the gas is, maybe that's what we're trying to calculate. So from Bernoulli's, again taking it between points 1 and 2 in our example, we can basically cancel out um, this term, okay, because we can say that Z1, C1 is negligible, therefore we're going to set it to zero, so this term would cancel. So therefore, um, we're only left with the pressure terms um, in this instance and if there was a significant it might be in this example that um, uh, Z is notable as well but I'll talk more about that on the next slide okay so um, if we think about the hydrostatic um, pressure terms um, in the equation then this is a good example for this so if we consider the the aerofoil um, in an aerofoil, so an aircraft wing, is travelling through the air. 
then um, we can also use Bernoulli's to solve this. And it might not be immediately obvious because the last two examples, you've had the same fluid kind of going from one um, point to another, either flowing out of the reservoir or out of the gas bottle. But what we can remember is that in this aircraft, which is flying through the air, um, Bernoulli's, if you remember, it's the, um, our static pressure term plus our dynamic pressure term plus our hydrostatic pressure term is equal to a constant. So that would be true. Um, for example, here, up in the top right, here, down the bottom left, you know, here, just behind, here in front. So it'd be true for everywhere. But we're just, for the sake of this example, we're going to consider um, in between one and two. So the pressure on the, um, the, um, the point on the top side um, of the, or top edge of the um, aerofoil and one point on the bottom edge. So if we consider that, then we would write it like this. But um, aircraft wings tend to be, you know, quite narrow, and therefore the change in height between these two um, would be negligible. So therefore, you can say that Z one would be approximately equal to Z two. And if you do that, then you substitute it into here. Then these two hydrostatic terms would um, cancel each other out. So therefore, you'd be left with um, this equation, okay? So um, you'd have your uh, static pressure term plus your dynamic pressure term, but no hydrostatic pressure term, okay? So you can see now there's three examples, um, and you can obviously have multiples. You you might be able to cancel out or um, uh, set to zero a number of these things, depending on the type of problem you have. But there's some common ways in which you can have... Um, start to cancel down, cancel out terms in the Bernoulli's equation to make the calculation um, simpler. Okay, I hope you um, enjoyed that lecture. Um, thanks for listening.